Welcome back to Elden Ring. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at an amazing secret legendary armor set. And no, it's not the twinned one that's in another video on the channel. So for those of you wanting to get this armor set early game, you start off at the first step. You make your way north and you come up to Gatefront. So as soon as you spawn in there, just come up to the main road, past the church, and then all the way up over to Gatefront. Then you want to come up here and you want to come to Stormhill Shack. And just quickly before we get any further into the video, if you're not currently subbed to the channel, make sure you do sub turn notifications on. If you enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like. All support is greatly appreciated. And if you want to support me further as a creator, then check out the links in the description and let's get into it. Then from Stormhill Shack, we're going to be making our way all the way over to Lake Facing Cliffs. So, this is Stormhill Shack, and if we jump on our mount, and we're just going to ride north, instead of taking the main road, what we're going to do is we are going to come onto this dirt path here, and what you want to do at this section is just follow the path all the way to the end of this broken down bridge. You can see the corpse sitting at the edge that will have a level 7 cookbook, but make sure you come down here, jump across, come up to the left hand side, and then follow this little passage, and if you just follow this all the way to the next site of Grace, that will be Lake Facing Cliffs, so we're going to fast travel there now, and then we will go from there. So now we are at the lake facing cliffs and our next step is to get down to lake shore. So what we're going to do, because this is a little bit of a trickier route, is you're going to head west and follow this main path. And once you come through, you're going to see an enemy camp up ahead. You just want to skip through it. You can go around the side if you want to or you can just go straight through the middle. And then you want to carry on until you get down here and interact with this site of grace. This one is Lake Shore. One little detour very quick. If you come over to this person here and you interact with them, they sell a cool little lantern. And I, I picked it up because in some areas of the game it's incredibly dark and it's an infinite use. So if I go to inventory... I see the lantern, use it, and ta-da, we have light. I had to throw that in because it's incredibly cool, in my opinion. But from this site of grace, you're going to head north. And for this part, all you have to do is just stick to the left-hand wall and just follow it and follow it and follow it. And I will show you the next step when we get there. So, unfortunately, because of the weather, I mean, I don't know if it's going to get brighter, I don't think it is. But you should be able to, I mean, you might not be able to see it. But there's this massive, like, cliff sort of thing here. And there's like an opening. That's where we're heading. So just keep making your way along. And then as soon as you get to this part, you just want to go up the hill. And you're going to come to... A couple of little buildings, but go right to the back, and there is a site of grace. So we're going to grab that checkpoint. I'm just going to rest for a second, and then I will show you exactly what it's called, because you might have already unlocked it. So it's all the way over on the left-hand side of the map. Village of the whatever that is. Albi Norix, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but... From here, what you're going to do is just go east up this hill. There's an enemy there, so I'm just going to ignore the enemy. And there's a pot here. You're going to want to break it open. So you'll see that I've died. That guy just chucks out a load of fire. It is like this magical fire stuff. So what I'm going to do is actually sneak behind him. I'm going to stick all the way to the wall. First thing I'm going to do is grab my runes. 
And then we're going to talk to this guy. And he is going to give you the right side of a medallion. So now you have the right side of the medallion. You're going to head to the round table hold. Which you would have unlocked for visiting Lake Facing Cliffs for the very first time. And as soon as you load in, there's going to be an invader. So, it's going to be a little bit different to what it's normally like. And here we go. I got so lucky with that fight. I don't know what happens if you die at that point. I don't know what happens with your runes or anything. But after you kill the enemy, if you get that lucky, I ran out of flasks and everything. I mean, I only come in here with two. But it's going to put you in the loading screen, load you back into the round table hold. You're going to get a clinging bone. Now, if we go through this left side, you are going to see this little thing here. You are going to pick it up and you get the Royal Remains Armour Set. You get the entire set. And if I go to Equipment and I change it all out, it weighs less. I mean, it has nowhere near as much damage negation. But if we equip the entire set, look at how cool that set is. That is an amazing armour set. Absolutely love it. So that was how to get a secret legendary armor set in Elden Ring. That's going to wrap up the video. Let me know your thoughts and stuff in the comments and I'll see you in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Yeah.